kids, welcome to Teacher Room class. Today, we are going to learn about the present number of objects. Let's come together. It's time to learn. So first, let's be meeting them. Let's try to present number of objects. Here is number one. As you can see, here is number one. One represents one leaf. One leaf. One leaf. Next. Here is number two. Number two represents two flowers. Two flowers represent number two. Next. Here is number three. Number three. How many leaves can you see? One, two, three. Three leaves represent number three. Next. Here is number four. Number four. This is sunflowers. Let's count together. One, two, three, four. Four sunflowers represent number four. You get me, kids? We go to number five. Here is number five. One, two, three, four, five. Five flowers represent number five. Okay? Okay, we already see number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Do you know what's next? Do you know, kids, what number is next? Yes, number six. Here is number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cherries represent number six. We go to the next one. Here is number seven. Let's count together. How many stamps is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's right. Seven stamps of bamboo represent number seven. Next, here is number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Let's see how many lemons are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right. Eight lemons represent number eight. Last one. Here is number nine. Number nine. Number nine. What is this? Strawberries. Okay, let's count. How many strawberries are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's right. There are nine strawberries. We present number nine. Good job, kids. Let's see what's next. We go to the activities. I bet you can answer these questions. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. Okay. Now, teacher wants you to tell me. How many lemons are there? How many lemons represent what number? Can you tell me? And the next question is, how many leaves are there? Represent what number? Hmm? Are there three, four, or five leaves? Try to answer it first. You answer it? Okay, now let's see the right answer. Yes, that's right. There are one, two, three, four. Four lemons. Yes, the answer is four. That's Right, these are yellow lemons. How many lemons? 
four. Four lemon represent what number? Number four. That's right. Next, how many leaves are there? Hmm? Are there three, four, or five leaves? That's right. There are three leaves. Okay, good job. Now, we are going to do another activity, which is teacher wants you to represent dots, dots, you know, dots, represent dots as numbers. How many number? How many dots? Okay, let's see. Okay, well done for today, kids. Learning can be so fun. Let's go to the other activity. Hello, kids. Let's do dot dot three. All you need is a piece of paper, crayon, watercolor, and marker pen. You also can use pencil. First, you need to draw the branch. It's draw the two lines okay. and okay. fill in the, the line. Then, draw ten branches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Next, draw some lines to make our branches thicker. Take marker pen or pencil and write number 1 at the right, number 2 at the left, number 3 at the right, number 4 at the left, number 5 at the right, number 6 at the left, and 7, number 8, number 9, and number 10. Put a big watercolor. This time, you can use colors that you like. Use your fingers and take the watercolor. Put one dot at number one. Put two dots at number two. For number three, put one, two, three dots. Three dots at number three. Next, for number four, one, two, three, four. Four dots for number four. Next, one, two, three, four, five. Five dots for number five. Next, for number six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six dots for number six. For number seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven dots for number seven. For number eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight dots for number eight. For number nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine dots for number nine. You can add more watercolor if you need it. Next, let's count together for number ten. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten dots for number ten. Good job. Now it's your turn to try it. Make sure you clean up after the activity and good luck. Thank you. 
Okay, that's all for today. Teacher wants you to try do dot dot three. Okay, each dot represent number. Okay, each number has how many dots? Okay, show me. Okay, and after that, ask your parents or guardian to take the dot dot three picture with you. Okay, thank you. Happy learning. Bye.